Is this some kind of medieval weapon? Postmodern art? No! It's an acoustic electric guitar! Hey guys, I've got something really cool to check out today. I don't know quite how to describe it, but I've never checked out something quite this interesting on the channel yet, and we're gonna look at it today. It is the Mogabi 200 Smart Guitar Acoustic Electric Made in Korea Travel Guitar. All right guys, the first thing that I wanna point out is the fact that it can be made really compact and then it's really portable and really easy to travel with. I'm literally holding the entire thing right here in this case. Now to show you exactly how small and how portable it is, I want you to take a look at this picture showing the comparison, size comparison of this to a soft shell acoustic guitar case and also a hard shell acoustic guitar case. Take a look. So I think we can all agree that this is way smaller than the other two cases, right? And that is due to the fact that it folds in half and the sides of the guitar come off and they go in the case with it. So I'm gonna take it out of the case right now. So we're taking out the main piece right here. This is the main body of the guitar. It's got the neck, this part. This unfolds and it's got a little locking thing right here so it won't unfold on, uh, accidentally. And then when you have it unfolded, it's not gonna fold back up accidentally as long as you lock it in place. So I'm gonna unlock it. And now I'm gonna open it up. And I'm gonna lock it back. Okay, now I'm gonna pull out, I don't know if you wanna call them the wings, the top and the bottom. I'm gonna pull those out and then put the whole thing together. Here we go. Let's start with the top. And it goes together pretty easily, guys. You know, you just kinda have these two clips that go right into the body of the top of the guitar here. Put it in the, these little slots that it has. Uh, there we go, there we go. And then, all good. I had to put a little muscle behind it. And a good thing it was only a little because I don't have much more than a little muscle. All right, let's do the bottom piece. So again, pulling it out. It's really well protected in the case. Nothing's gonna be like sliding around and banging into each other, nothing like that. All right, I'm gonna turn it upside down so I can put this piece in. Again, you got your two little slots here. You just put it in there and voila, it is locked into place. And there we go, it looks like that. And now that I have the whole thing like all assembled and really, there was really only three steps to assembling it. Opening up the folding part, lock it in place, put the top piece in, put the bottom piece in, and it's totally good to go. Take a look at these pictures so you can get a really good view of all parts of the guitar. It's got a built-in preamp and a built-in speaker. And the main control layout is right here, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and play something for you guys. And one of my favorite features, it has built-in reverb, oh yes. Acoustic guitar sounds so much better when you've got some reverb on it. So let's turn on the reverb and see how that sounds. And you can adjust the level of the reverb. So you can put just a tiny bit of reverb or you can go all the way up to like really a lot of reverb. So that's really cool. And guess what else guys? This thing has built in Bluetooth. Yeah, Bluetooth. So you can literally connect it to your cell phone and you can send in a signal from your cell phone and it'll play through the speaker. So if you've got like an audio file saved on your cell phone, you can do that. If you wanna play something from YouTube because you wanna play along with it, you can do that. I'm gonna demonstrate it to you guys by playing like a little piece from one of my YouTube videos through the speaker via the Bluetooth connection. 
The sound is actually coming from the speaker in the guitar. It's not coming from the speaker in my phone. I do have the volume turned all the way up, and yet we can barely hear it. Hmm. Okay, when I tried this out the other day, when I first got the guitar and I did the same thing with the YouTube video, it came through much louder and clearer. However, I did notice there were kind of some connection problems because it's Bluetooth, it's, it's wireless. So maybe it works better at some times and worse at other times, I don't really know. I don't know if that's something that I would use personally anyway. And if you really want to get like something from your phone or another recording and you want to come, you want to have it like come through the speaker so you can play along with it, there is another way to do it that's going to sound way better and be much more reliable. I'll get to that in a minute. All right, on to another really cool feature. You can record yourself playing on this. It literally has like a recorder installed in it and then you can play it back. It'll play back through the speaker and then you can play along with that recording, like a looper basically. So let's try that out. All right, now I am going to attempt to play that back and like do some simple melodies like along with it on top of it and we should be able to hear both things coming out of the speaker at the same time that's the whole point Okay, I know what you guys are thinking at this point. He's done demonstrating all the features. That's everything that this guitar has. Wrong! We're not done. We've got some stuff up on the top here to go over. Let's go over that. All right, guys, up on the top here, we've got the old uh, plug-in for the charger. It does not charge with a USB cable. It just plugs in with the old, you know, DC type charger. It comes with that. We've also got line out. Now, let me tell you what's great about the line out. The line out is great so that if you're at home and you want to do recording with it, this is one, one way why it's very useful. You can use the line out to go into your DAW, to go into your computer and start recording. I did a little uh, try out with that, I practiced with it, I recorded something and the clarity was uh, absolutely perfect. So whatever they've got in here as far as the circuitry and the preamp and all that, it's totally like top notch and professional sounding. Now that line out would also be useful if you're in a situation where you need this thing to come out through like a PA system or some a larger uh, speakers, whatever, or if you just want to hook it into an amplifier. There's a headphone jack if you want to use earbuds or headphones with this thing. And there is a data jack, whatever you call that. So it comes with the cable, by the way. So you, you hook that one end and then you hook the other end uh, maybe into your phone and that is for transferring files. It's not for charging up, it's to transfer files. So if you record something in here, like I just did a few minutes ago, you can literally transfer that file to your phone. On the back here, it's got a mic or a line in and it's got some controls here. It's got mic volume, it's got bass, middle, treble. So you could literally plug a microphone into that and either, I don't know, somebody might want to sing along and come through the speaker with you or you could just hook it to another instrument or you mic up another instrument using a microphone, but it's also got line in. So if you open up this little hatch here, you can switch it between mic in and line in. So remember before when I said, you know, if you don't want to use the Bluetooth, it's maybe not very reliable, the connection is not that great. Well, you can use the line in instead. You're gonna to have to use a cable, right? But no problem, it comes with adapters for that. And you hook that cable to your phone, 
probably most likely your phone and then you send in your backing track whatever you're gonna play with and then it goes in and it's gonna come out through the speaker and then you can play along with it I need to show you all the accessories that came with it we've got the plug so that you can charge up the battery. This is the uh, data connection cable so that you can hook it from the guitar to your phone if you wanna send the file. But this is gonna work on like a Samsung phone, something like that. But fear not, Apple phone users. It comes with an adapter that you would hook to one into this and then you can plug it into an Apple phone, an iPhone. It's got two of these and this is really cool. I'm really glad that it came with this because remember earlier when I said I plugged it into my DAW and I plugged it into my amplifier to see how it would sound and if it would work because the, the little jacks on the guitar are the small size uh, but my cables of course are the bigger size. So. Yeah, anyway, it comes with two of them. An extra set of acoustic guitar strings. You get your truss rod adjustment wrench, and yes, you can adjust the truss rod if you need to, it's on there. You get four official Mogabi guitar picks. And it does come with an instruction manual that tells you exactly how to use the recorder, all the features. I did have to read through it to kind of figure out. It wasn't that hard to figure out, but I read through it anyway just so I knew exactly like, well, what, what are all these little spot you know these output jacks what are those for what are what are these buttons for pretty easy to use pretty easy to figure out so what else can i say about this uh it's cool it's strange it's retro yet it's futuristic it has features in an acoustic electric that i never even would have thought that i wanted or needed so definitely check it out if it's something that you're interested in or you think that like yeah that's something that i need to have links are in the description as always guys Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.